Yo, what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on Arrow Season 8 and this will be my trailer breakdown for Arrow Season 8 Episode 4 otherwise entitled Present Tense and that's due to the episode only taking place on present day since there are no, fla no more flash forwards due to the events that occurred from last episode now before I start the video don't forget, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Now before I do the trailer breakdown or even show the trailer, I will quickly go over the synopsis of the episode for the episode as it does give a much better idea on what is going on. When a mysterious new Deathstroke appears in Star City, Oliver and Team Arrow insist on taking down this villain themselves. Meanwhile, reading from the loss of one of their own, the future Team Arrow figures out a new way to try and stop JJ. Now for those who haven't watched the trailer or those who need a recap, then let's watch the trailer before I do this breakdown. So as you just saw from that trailer, it it literally looks like it's going the episode is gonna kick off literally five seconds after the ending of last episode which I still can't get over. That ending was so good. And if you guys want to check out my review for episode 3, I will link it in the description down below. And in case you are wondering, this will be one of the two episodes that will take place in Star City. As episode 5, we are going to Russia, by the looks of it. And episode 6 will also be on Star City. And episode 7 will be on Lian Yu. And episode 8 will obviously be Crisis. Now, in this episode, we do also have Curtis, Dinah, and Renee return as well, just in case you guys wanted to know. So, the trailer starts off with the future team all confused and stuff, and Oliver mentions that they're in 2019, and William's like, oh, we're in the past. Now, what does really interest me is to find out what caused this, that this thing from the future that made future team arrow end up on present day and i will go over that later on in this video as it is kind of revealed so i will give a spoiler warning when i will go when i will go over that just in case you guys don't want to know now this episode is also in homage to season two and you could just see that due to the throwback to the mirakuru soldiers however i don't think jj's army would have mirakuru but they're still Deathstrokes, so yeah. They are a new form of the, the Deathstroke gang basically, and they are recreating the SCPD raid as well, which is really interesting. Now, Mia does, does say to what it looks to be Connor, and she says maybe the Deathstroke gang had also come back. And this is when we find out that JJ is also in present day, and I am dying to see Diggle's reaction when he finds out that about Connor Hawk and what his biological son, JJ, has turned into and what he finds out about Connor Hawk because like he, we know that John Diggle will adopt him later on so I am really interested to see how that goes down as well now we do get a sick shot of JJ over here I think it's JJ but Deathstroke, let's just say Deathstroke because there is someone else who was said to return for this episode as well and I will get o I will get onto that later on. But then we cut to William, and he talks about the downfall. Then, so this could be when the downfall of Star City starts. Now we did also get a timeline change, just in case you guys are wondering, because Dinah and Renee obviously never knew who Mia was, but now they know that she's Oliver's daughter. So yeah, the timeline has changed. Now we do get this shot of someone putting on a Deathstroke mask. Not a big deal, but this could also be Grant Wilson, the Deathstroke from Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1, Episode 6, from the Star City 2046 flash-forward sequence when Connor Hawk was the Green Arrow. And just in case you guys were wondering, some sources did say that Grant Wilson will be returning for this episode, but I'm not quite sure about that just yet. Now, one thing which is really interesting is that in the synopsis, it does say future team Arrow find a way to stop JJ and not just team Arrow. 
So it's clear that the future team will do something behind their backs, which probably won't end well. Now, we do have future and present team, Ar team Arrow together, that being Oliver Queen, aka Green Arrow, Laurel Lance, aka Black Canary, Dinah Drake, aka Black Canary as well, Mia Smoke, aka Black Star, and Connor Hawk, all suited up and an explosion takes place, which could be some Deathstroke hideout or something, I'm not really sure. So now, who caused this thing, which got future Team Arrow brought to present day, possibly permanently, due to the Green Arrow and the Canaries TV show, more now more likely to be set in present day, and we do know that Mia does stick around for Crisis as well, so that being said, I think this could be a permanent change, I'm not really sure. Now, I will I will reveal this in a second, so spoiler warning, if you guys don't want to know, then click off the video right now. Now, we have this interview done by LaMonica Garrett, and he does reveal who caused the event of last episode to make the future team appear on present, present day, and he says, that's definitely the monitor's handiwork. Everything he does is for a greater cause, and I think the the great this the, I think the great things that the, the writers did is that every question that's unanswered right now, they tie it up at some point throughout the season or in crisis. I say this with the monitor. Everything he does is to bring out something in the character that was missing or that was suppressed, and he does. He does, he does, he goes about his own way of doing it, but ultimately what he needs gets achieved. He is the ultimate chess player. So this does confirm that it was the monitor that ended up bringing the future team to present day. And it doesn't look like a time glitch, which I, I thought would have happened. Well, although we did get a timeline change, it, it wasn't a time glitch. So yeah, that was the monitor's doing. Now we will get answers for why he did that soon enough as well. But now we do have an interview done with Stephen ML about what the fallout of last episode will do to this episode in terms of Oliver's reaction when he saw his daughter and son, well, his future version of his daughter and son right in front of him. He's flabbergasted, obviously. He doesn't really know what to do with Mia. I think, actually, the coolest interaction doesn't actually come between Oliver and Mia. It comes between Oliver and William. The scene, my first sort of big one-on-one -on -one scene with Ben, straight up might be my favorite scene this year. Now... This was kind of unexpected because I was actually expecting Oliver and Mia to have the best scenes together as Oliver really never met Mia whereas when, whereas William he's already met him for like three years? Three years I guess. But yeah I would think that the scene that Stephen is referring to is about William and Oliver and it would be like a confrontation between William and Oliver and why Oliver never got William back after he retired for a couple of months for many many years so I am really excited to see that as well but obviously it's not going to be one of those like it's going to be one of those uh, emotional scenes sorry and I cannot wait to see this but I am really really excited to see the scenes between Mia and Oliver more as it was something I've really wanted since the end of season 7 and obviously Oliver has barely met Mia, like, the la like Oliver's only met like child Mia, but he's never met like adult full on Mia. But yeah, maybe they would get this talk about like when Oliver dies, she should be b Green Arrow. Cause like, I don't agree with like Oliver just dying and then Mia just becoming Green Arrow. I think personally, she should just stick to Black Star. I wouldn't want her to be Green Arrow. It's definitely not. The Green Arrow legacy should die with Oliver. Unless Oliver like gives this talk with her and says like when I die you should be Green Arrow Then that would be okay, but I still won't be good with Mia becoming Green Arrow But yeah, these scenes between Oliver and Mia should be really really good scenes I just cannot wait for it 
and yeah that is pretty much it for this video guys so if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe button and yeah i will see you on my next video